All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechav, Dash. The honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the occupants to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth out in faith and sincerity. All right, you know, today, you know, it's New Year's or whatnot. You know, people are celebrating, you know, another year to continue in their wickedness, you know. You know, today is just just a wicked day, basically, all right? They all popping their firecrackers, you know, just celebrating, all right? Just uh, celebrating another day to be in oppression, all right, to be in slavery, all right? These, these, these people have to be destroyed, all right? Because, bro, this, 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 the land of America, bro, is nothing but wickedness, all right? Wickedness everywhere. Everywhere you go in this kingdom, in, the, in, in America, all right, it's wickedness. You got the homosexuals, transgenders, all right, you got the pedophiles, you got people that like bestiality, you know. It's all types of things, man. That's just a few. It's a lot of, it's a lot of things that's going on in this country. All right, and you got people celebrating to... You know, basically, be here for another year. I'm not knowing that time is running out, bro. These people that you, you, like, they don't have that much time. They will be destroyed. They're going to be killed in the day that is coming. All right, Jacob's trouble. All right, because these people, they don't have the truth. They don't know Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right, they don't, they don't believe in this thing. So therefore, they're not going to have no protection in that day. So what is the point of celebrating? America is about to fall. What is the point of celebrating? You know, these people are just ignorant. All right, that's why they got to be taken out. And that's why the Lord said this. All right, I'm going to hop straight to the scripture. Isaiah 34 and 6. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh had to sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. All right, now, if you look at this verse, all right, it's talking about the, 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 the blood of the lambs and the goats and the kidneys of rams. All right. These are sacrificial animals. All right. And what was a sacrificial animal used for in ancient times? All right. Back then, you know, when Israel, when we went off, when we sinned, you will need a sacrificial animal of the most highest choosing all right? because you can't just sacrifice anything. All right. Everything was, you know, we had specific animals that we had to use to sacrifice, or right, to be forgiven for our sins. And we will kill that animal. All right? We will basically slaughter, not slaughter, but, you know, we'll kill that animal. All right? Basically to be, to be forgiven for our sins. And these people are being compared, all right, unto a sacrifice. Right, because it says that for Yahweh had a sacrifice in Basra. And Basra is basically a land of Edom. All right? It says in a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. And Idumia is just a Greek way of saying Edom. All right? So the Most High has a great sacrifice in this place, America. These people will be a sacrifice. All right? Meaning they will be killed, they will be destroyed in many different ways. All right, because you got martial law coming, you got the concentration camps, you know, the race riots, you know, and like the most odds are going to have some things happening out here that nobody's ever seen before. It's going to be a great slaughter. All right, and we're getting closer and closer to that time. All right, and that's good that these people are going to be killed. All right, it's good that it's going to be a great sacrifice in this land. 
because it needs to happen. Alright? It needs to happen. Alright, but these people don't know that they not going to have no protection in that day. They're going to be totally defenseless. Only the people that will be protected is the elect, the ones that have that money. This is Ezekiel. 9 and 4 says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. All right, which Jerusalem represents a people before it's a place. All right, so this is talking about the Latinos, the Negroes, and the Native Americans. All right, which, which, cause, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, that's who this is talking about. It's a set of Mark. All right, what is this Mark talking about? This is Strong H 84 and 20. All right, you go down, it says a Mark as a sign of exemption, exemption from judgment. So this Mark is basically a pass from getting killed, basically. All right, it says. And Yahweh said unto him, unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And who are these men? They are the prophets of Yahweh. The prophets of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Do you see them out on the highways and the byways, you know, in the downtown areas, you know, the most populated areas out Preaching this gospel, letting you know that this kingdom is gonna be, is gonna fall. All right, how are they crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst of the rough? You know they're basically calling Esau out on his wickedness. All right, because Esau is a pedophile. You know he likes little boys. All right, basically calling out these homosexuals, these transgenders. You know, basically. All the abomination that's going on, you know, not just some of it, all right? Because this land is full of abominations, you know? In verse 5, it says, and to the others, all right, to the others, everybody that don't have this mark placed upon them, all right? Because remember, that mark is basically a path to be killed. All right, and, and that mark is only going to be placed on the men that's basically, you know, crying to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot to destroy this place. I have verse 5 says to the others, everybody else, bro, it's everybody else outside of them, outside of the elect. Go ye after through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. All right, so these people will be slain without no type of forgiveness. All right, with no type of pity. You're just going to be taken out. And that's it. It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. All right, so it don't matter if you're old. All right, it don't matter if you're in a wheelchair. It don't matter if you're in an old folks home. It don't matter if you were just born in the hospital. It don't matter if you, you know, in elementary, in fucking third grade, fourth grade, none of that. All right, it don't matter if you're a woman. You will be slain all right, if this mark is not pl not placed upon you. All right, you will be a part of that, that great sacrifice. It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. All right, so this destruction that's, that's about to take place, this great slaughter that's about to take place, it's not going to, you know, basically the men that had this mark are not going to take place in it. All right, they, they, they're not going to get the judgment of these other people. And when you have, which you will have martyrs in this truth that are going to die for this truth, all right? That's going to basically deny being a part of this place. All right, but they're going to rise first. So they're still going to get that reward. All right, but ultimately, these people are going to be destroyed in horrific ways. 
All right, they're going to find out why the Most High was called Allah Shad you. All right, which is a demon like terrible power. Now, these people forget that the Most High flooded the earth and only left eight souls to remain. You got to know who you're dealing with. All right. It says, they began in my sanctuary, then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. All right. So, basically, man, it's going to be numerous all right, amount of people getting killed in America. All right. And, you know, like I said, it's getting closer and closer to the destruction. All right. And this scripture, all right. It's going to be the last scripture. Isaiah 66 and 15. All right, it says, For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke, rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by the sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. All right, the killing of Yahweh is going to be many. Many people will be put to death. All right, and they're celebrating, not knowing that they is getting closer to their destruction. It's getting closer for them to be sacrificed. It's getting closer for them. To be slaughtered. Alright. So basically. <laughs> it's no time to be celebrating. But you know they're going to do it anyway. You know until this place fall. Alright. You know really that's the lesson. You know with that. You know we give all praise on the glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh. Shabbat Ba'ashem. Ha'kodash. The bonds to the apostles. Elizabeth Millstone. Peace citation to Yaku. And to the elect. That scatters by the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and facing sincerity. Shalom.